Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing and the Dolphin browser for Pad. This is uh, Dolphin HD is one of the most popular web browsers for Android smartphones, and now there's a version designed specifically for tablets. Um, the smartphone version actually works pretty well on tablets, but the uh, the new version is designed specifically with a couple of tablet-friendly features. The layout is a little bit different. So you've got browser tabs here on the top of the screen, for instance. Um, but now when you want to enter a URL, you've got uh, sort of a drop-down list here, but you don't lose access to uh, to the rest of the screen. So let's go ahead and load up Lilliputing. You can choose whether you want flash content to load automatically or if you want to load it on demand. And it does load pretty quickly. And you've got your basic browser functions like pinch to zoom. Um, one of the things that really makes Dolphin different is that you've got these slide out, uh, you know, a bookmark bar on one side. Over here you've got a list of open tabs. That's similar to what you get from the smartphone version, but uh, when you drag on the smartphone version, the whole page slides with it. Here, it just sort of comes out as you drag, so it's like a pop-up kind of menu. And there's a full screen mode, which is a nice feature to have. You can also select text on a page, and copy, share, find, uh, or conduct a web search from it. There's a find on page function, which works pretty nicely. And you can share pages via Bluetooth, email, Gmail, or other applications, or save a page, and it'll show up in your download file as a HTM or HTML file. Other settings include support for uh, touch-based gestures or add-ons, and there's a number of different add-ons that work with Dolphin, including a translation widget or uh, application, LastPass um, manager for passwords, an RSS uh, reader, uh, convert web pages to PDF, search Wikipedia, etc. So, you know, there's actually quite a number of add-ons that are already available for Dolphin, and if they work on the smartphone version, they should also work on the tablet version of the browser. Okay, something just happened there. This is actually a beta that I'm looking at right now, so there may be some issues. Other settings include you can change the user agent from Android to a desktop computer, iPhone, or iPad. You can uh, check full screen, I already showed you that. Uh, here's a neat one, you can change what pressing the volume button on your tablet does. So right now I have it set to default action, but we can also uh, scroll up or down on web pages or switch between browser tabs by clicking the, uh, the volume buttons. Now that's the sort of thing that actually might be handier on a phone where you're sort of always holding it with your thumb in place. Uh, this tablet Sometimes it might not be the easiest thing to do to reach up to the volume buttons, but it's going to vary from tablet to tablet, probably. Uh, screen orientation, you can lock it into landscape or portrait mode or set it on automatic. Uh, choose whether to keep the screen on, so even if you don't touch the device for a little while, it'll stay on. Whether you want to uh, enable downloads in the background, what download directory you want, uh, whether search suggestions should be enabled or not, and whether uh, multi-touch search gestures should be available. So there's a lot of options, mu uh, far more options and settings here really than you get with uh, the standard Android web browser. You can choose to store your browser cache on an SD card. This particular device doesn't have an SD card, it only has internal storage, um, but that's another option. And um, privacy and security, you can choose whether to accept cookies or not, whether to remember form data, etc. And you can choose what you want to use as your home page. So, uh, there you go. Um, that's just sort of the tip of the iceberg here. You can ch change your font sizes, you can change the default zoom level. So there's a lot of different settings here, uh, but overall it's a lot like the smartphone version of um, the Dolphin HD web browser, but the key difference really is that it's uh, it's meant specifically for tablets, works well on tablets, loads pages quickly, and has support for uh, gestures that make more sense on tablets 
So, uh, it's a beta application available as a free download from the Android market. Just search for Dolphin for Pad, and uh, pretty soon they'll probably uh, add more features, work out more bugs, or make other changes. Uh, the Dolphin folks seem to like re re uh, uh, releasing new versions of the browsers pretty quickly. This is Brad Linder for Mobile Computing.